Welcome back to Editing with iMovie for iPad. In this session, we're going to talk about adding B-roll to your news story, as we've learned in our book throughout the process. Uh, one thing you're going to notice that's different, our resources now have been updated within the app and are on the left, so they've switched spots with the video player. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add our B-roll footage, and I need to go ahead then and move ahead my clip of Drew here about three to seven seconds. Remember that we want to see a new visual on our video about every three to seven seconds. That's a good editing practice. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the iMovie tutorial album. I need to find a wide shot that I would like to use. So I'm going to go ahead again and edit that right here in the uh, resources. I'm going to find a nice wide shot that I want. There we go. A student talking to the group. Now you'll notice three particular um, options, the arrow pointing down, the play button, or those three little dots, the ellipses. I'm going to tap on the ellipses, and I have a couple of options there. For our news story, we want to select the picture to go on top of the video clip. So I'm going to take those two little squares right there and tap on that, and the video just simply drops right down above it. One thing that's really nice about it is that the volume is muted, and we'll talk about volume in a later series. So now that I have our wide shot in our sequence of wide, medium, and tight, I need to find our medium shot. So I'm going to go ahead and set the playhead right to the end of our wide shot. And I'm going to go back up into my resources and I'm going to find a medium shot. Now I want to find a shot of the girl presenting that will match the action. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to go back here a little bit, just again using my finger to set the brackets. Drag it here a little bit from the from right to left. There we go. Okay, I got 5.3 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and select the ellipses, the three dots and the squares that will drop that video footage right on top. So now I have my wide shot and my medium shot. And so now if you remember, according to our Become a Citizen Journalist course series, we need a tight shot. So I noticed in my footage that I had a tight shot of two girls who were paying attention to the speaker. That's great reaction shot for storytelling that I want to include right about there. Okay, so I'm going to get capture these two girls who are listening to the speaker. And it's just under three seconds. That's okay, 2.5 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and select the ellipses and the squares and it drops it right on top. And so now I will have my interview with Drew for three to seven seconds. My wide shot, he's talking about st with students who are learning in this session. So here are some students talking that were meeting and, and placed together from different schools, doing a presentation, and some students listening and paying attention before I cut back to Drew. Now remember when we're editing the sequence of wide, medium, and tight, you can mix up that order in any way that you want. Go tight, medium, wide, medium, tight, wide, whatever the, the, your choice is, as long as you have those three shots in a sequence of B-roll. Wide, medium, and tight, and that the shots change every three to seven seconds um, on the screen, whether we're seeing the interview or the B-roll. Coming up in our series of editing with iMovie for the iPad, we'll talk to you about converting photos into B-roll. We'll also discuss volume and so much more.